Hello everyone, welcome back to Chilled Vibes Only. Today's video is going to be about how to improve your sex life and get out of that failure mindset. So this video, big disclaimer, is all from what I've read um, online, what I've studied, um, my personal experience, my personal observations, talking to other women, and I'm talking um, from the experience of a cisgendered, bi-curious woman. Um, obviously, I can't speak for other genders or other women who are experiencing this with other sexual identities that are different than mine, um, but I would love, love, love to hear your perspectives um, and your opinions on this, so please leave comments down below um, and let's start this discussion. So the reason I wanted to film this video on how to improve your sex life and get out of this failure mindset is because I think as women, we were taught from a very, very, very young age by society, by the medical message, the media message, the moral message, um, what sex was going to look like and be like. And we were taught to have sex for the pleasure of men. And what I mean by that is it is 2021 right now. Um, I don't know how the world's gonna look in the next five, 10, 20 years, but historically we come from a culture that's always valued men. Um, and so the world was created for men, to work for men, um, and we've since then questioned that, right? The women's right to vote, women getting equal pay, just general women's rights over our bodies and our autonomy. But one thing that we fail to question at sometimes or bring up is Women's say in the bedroom and with sex and the way that we're taught and we see sex in mass media growing up has mostly been for the pleasure and purpose of men. So what I mean by that is we have as women this failure mindset that if we have penetrative sex um, and the guy doesn't finish, right? Or we're not finishing and having orgasms like the women we see on TV or in porn that we fail, that something's wrong with us, that we're broken, that our bodies aren't the same as everybody else's bodies and we're failing at sex. And that is such a bullshit lie and also so, so, so incredibly frustrating. Um, and so that's what I want to talk about that today. I want to talk about eliminating this failure mindset and reprogramming what we think sex is and what sex means to us because every single person, every single body is different. There is no one normal. Um, I think society and the way we've grown up and what we've been told has pushed us in this one narrative of what sex is supposed to look like that's going to satisfy a man and it's completely forgotten everybody else. Um, and what I mean by that is the idea, the whole idea around penetrative sex. And I've done videos on this before about how to have an orgasm through penetrative sex. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. Um, by all means, like that's a great way to have intimacy with your partner. Um, but it shouldn't be the goal of sex, right? Like the goal of sex should be pleasure, not orgasm through penetration at the same time as your partner, because that is so unrealistic for the majority of women, only a small number of women actually can have reliable orgasms through penetration and you leave out everybody else, but you push this one narrative that nobody can fit into. So you create this environment where it's like this unachievable goal for anyone and it makes women feel broken. It makes us feel like something's wrong with us. It makes us feel like we're failing and it's not legitimate at all. Um, and so that's what I want to do today in this video is I want to challenge you and I want to challenge the beliefs that were unfairly put on you. And I want to challenge the narrative that you've given yourself about what sex should be like for you. So starting off, I want to first and foremost clarify that there is absolutely nothing wrong with you. You are not broken. You are perfect and whole and beautiful just as you are. Um, obviously, if, there, if you're experiencing pain through sex um, or there's something going on in your body that you know just doesn't feel right, by all means, please go speak to a doctor. Please go speak to a gynecologist push people to get the answers that you need to get. Don't feel embarrassed. Don't feel like you don't have the power to ask those questions or the right to ask those questions because you do and it matters. And there are doctors out there who will help you. So if one of them shuts you down, um, you know what, say, 
F you to them and go on and find someone else who's going to help you because there are doctors out there. Um, I have a really great gynecologist in Vancouver, Canada. If you want to know her name, just DM me or email me. I'd be more than happy um, to pass on that information to you. Aside from that, if everything's working fine and you're just not having regular orgasms or you're not enjoying your sex life and you feel like you're failing, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks today on how to help improve that. So the first thing that we want to think about is reshaping our narrative. So the way that we speak to ourselves and how we feel about ourselves and how we feel about our feelings is what matters during sex. So for example, if you have this narrative like, I'm never going to have an orgasm through penetration with my partner, or I'm never going to be beautiful enough to feel confident in the bedroom, um, you know, to be intimate with my partner, or I'm never going to have a big enough voice to ask for what I need. Those I'm never is creating this box that is you know, shutting you off from all of these opportunities um, and all of this opportunity to explore. So the first thing you want to do is change your mindset and change the narrative you told yourself. If you even have the narrative of I'm broken, like you are not broken, change that narrative. Tell yourself, you know, I am a person who can have multiple orgasms with my partner and I am a person who wants to explore in the bedroom and I am a person who enjoys sex and I am a person who's sexual. I am a person who has body confidence. So shifting our mindsets first, obviously it's not things that can happen overnight, this takes time, but starting to shift the way we talk to ourselves and think in our minds helps to shift our reality and our perspective and it allows us to move into a new narrative that we want to create about ourselves, our sex lives, and our bodies. And I know it's easier said than done, but if you are in one of those boxes right now, that is my first tip to you, is to start to change the way you think, to become aware of the way you think. So through mindfulness, or meditation, sit down with yourself every day and bring your attention to the thoughts that you want to encompass and become in your life um, and just see how it feels. And obviously when we do affirmations or we say things that we don't necessarily believe right now, it's going to feel a little bit awkward or weird or uncomfy. But the more you tell yourself these things, the, the more comfortable you'll be with those thoughts and the more open you'll be to trying on those perspectives. Um, I said this before, but the way that we feel about our feelings is what matters. So if you feel uncomfortable and then you put a judgment on that feeling of uncomfortable, like I'm never going to be able to do this, I'm always going to feel uncomfortable, this isn't for me, that is not going to help you get any further. So just acknowledging, yeah, I feel uncomfortable right now, this doesn't feel natural to me, but it's because it's new and it's normal and that's okay and I'm not judging this feeling, I'm just sitting with it and I'm moving through it. So, you know, trying on these new narratives and not applying judgment to them, but being really compassionate and patient with ourselves is the first step that we can move in creating this new narrative around our sex life. The next thing I want to challenge you to do is to challenge the beliefs that you have around sex. Um, and the first way you can do this is just simply think about how you learned about sex as a kid, right? How, when's the first time you learned about sex? Did you learn about it in school? Did you learn about it online? Did you learn about it through porn, through friends, through family? Um, maybe you had a really great sexual upbringing and you had really great information, right? And you have this pool of knowledge and you feel super confident in your sexuality um, and comfortable with who you are. Or maybe you didn't. <laughs> maybe you were fed lies and maybe you were told to be ashamed of your sexuality or you were told to fear it. Um, the medical message is huge, like STIs, pregnancy, um, the moral message, like you're a slut if you have sex with too many people or if you don't have sex enough, you're a prude. The media message, you'll look and perform this way if you're going to have good sex with someone. Um, who taught you about sex and what beliefs do you carry from those teachings, right? And are those beliefs serving you in your sex life, right? So. The belief that I can't have a lot of sexual partners because it's going to make me a slut. Who is that hurting? Because it's not hurting the people who put, cast this judgment on you, right? They could be off having sex with hundreds of people, right? And just preaching this bullshit while you're sitting here not being able to explore your sexuality, not feeling comfortable in your body, not having the chance to to be with different partners and discover new things about yourself. So their judgments aren't hurting them, they're hurting you. And if you want to do those things, right, maybe you don't want to have sex with a lot of people, that's totally fine. But if you do and you're letting that moral message stop you, think about who's suffering in that experience, right? If you're having sex and on media you've seen that sex is a man penetrating a woman for five to ten minutes 
and then them both coming at the same time and every single time you have sex with your partner they come you don't and then that's the end of it who's suffering in that situation right the actors on TV or in the porn industry are making money right your partner is getting off they're enjoying their sex but you're the only one here who's not satisfied because you've accepted this one version of what sex should be like without challenging it and taking it into your own life and what's going to work for you. So think about these things. Challenge those opinions that were told and talked to you because they're not true, right? You've been fed lies by people who are working to put you in a box to control you and maybe it wasn't intentional, right? Maybe they had teachings from other people, but it's affecting you. So in order for you to take control of your sex life and to get out of this failure mindset is you control what you consider failure or success. And rewrite that narrative for yourself and rewrite it with your partner and create new expectations and create a new way that you have sex with someone so that it works for you and for your life and stop trying to fit into this box of everybody else. Um, if I told you, you have to be a teacher because everyone's a teacher and that's all you're going to be when you grow up and you really want to be a doctor, like you'd say, F you, no, I'm going to go be a doctor. I don't want to be a teacher. So if someone's saying you have to have sex this one way and you want to have sex a different way, you should be saying the same F you to this person, right? So exploring what's going to work for you and your body. And so that's what leads me to my third and final thing about how to get out of this failure mindset um, is being open to discovery. So it's hard to leave this comfortable zone that you've been in, right? Maybe you just told yourself, this is how it's gonna be. This is how it's always gonna be. I feel safe in here. Yes, it's a little bit uncomfortable to explore new avenues of your sex life, um, but it can also be really exciting. So maybe for you, sex isn't actually penetrative. Maybe sex is just oral sex, right? Um, maybe you have oral sex for an hour before you initiate penetrative sex. Maybe you go back and forth between the two. Um, there are so many options and abilities to change our, our, our perception around what sex should be like and I encourage you to explore these with someone who you trust, explore them by yourself, figure out your own body. Um, obviously with women lots of times with, with sex we need clitoral st stimulation so bringing in toys to the bedroom, using your hand, using your partner's hand, communicating these things, trying new things without judgment, right? The way we feel about our feelings and the way we feel about our desires is what controls how we're gonna feel in these situations, right? So when you're in a sexual situation, dropping the judgment around your feelings and just trying things from a place of curiosity and general interest and from a place that's gonna make you feel the most secure. And through exploring that, we can create contexts that work for us. So obviously, um, I did a video on sex, how to improve your sexual desire and sex drive. I don't really like to use the word drive anymore, but um, how to improve your sexual desire. And a lot of that is just turning off our brakes and turning on our accelerators and creating a context in which we feel the most comfortable. Um, so definitely go check out that video. Um, but yeah, creating a context in a space and turning off your brakes so that you're open to these experiences and focusing on pleasure and not orgasm. Um, because pleasure is what leads us to orgasm and placing these unrealistic society expectations on us um, is what creates this, this right, wrong, failure or success relationship that doesn't need to be there um, and that is just frankly bullshit and you deserve better and I deserve better and unfortunately we were fed a lot of crap growing up um, and now we have to take it off on ourselves to rewrite these narratives um, but I have so much faith that we can do this and we can shift the conversation and I hope that you um, got something out of this video and if you feel inspired share it with someone else who you think will find this helpful um, and give it a big thumbs up. You can follow us on Instagram at CVO Wellness. DM me if you have any questions at all. I love talking about this stuff, so please don't be shy. I'm always here to have an open ear. Um, and yeah, I hope that this video kind of helped question some of your beliefs and got you out of that failure mindset um, and help is gonna help you improve your sex life um, and what you actually want to experience in the bedroom.